Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about ventricular septal defect imaging. Capture anomaly with communication between left and right ventricle through septal. So VSD can be classified as perimembranous septal defect up to 80% posterior or inlet defect associated with atroventricular septal defect or AVSD up to 8 to 10% muscular or trabecular septal defect up to 5 to 10% outlet septal defect or surprise crystal ventricular septal defect VSD around 5% complex cardiac anomaly, anomaly with VSD like tetralogy or fellow truncus, lapot, outlet, right ventricle. So we can see by classification the most form of the VSD is perimembrana septal defect. Most common signs and symptoms depend on size of shunt, associated lesion, and pulmonary vascular pressure. Small ASD usually is symptomatic but have hepatoma, moderate or large VSD. Children have tachypnea, tachycardia, diaphoresis, failure to thrive and congestive heart failure may occur. Other signs and symptoms, loud systolic murmur near the left heart order. Although the effect is present at birth, child are not symptomatic immediately due to high pulmonary vascular distance of newborn. Moderate or large shun are usually symptomatic in first two months of life. It will be happen same in male and female. It will account for 20% of all congenital heart lesion, most common congenital lesion associated with other heart lesion. VSD it can be related to genetic but non-specific can identify in the majority in embryology could be complex depend on location of the back and associated anomaly pathophysiology determine of blood to ration effect side relative a resistance of pressure in ventricular chamber. Small defect have high resistance to flow across defect resulting in small shunt. Moderate size VSD have moderate shunt and moderate flow. Large size VSD are defined as defect that approximately size of aorta and have large flow. Increased flow of cross shunt leading to increased work of right ventricle and increased volume of venous return to left atrium and ventricle. Mark volume overload of curve lead to resulting in child developed tachypnea and congestive heart failure. Long term increase in flow to pulmonary artery is associated with vessel injury, resulting in pulmonary hypertension. Complex interact between vascular endothelium and smooth muscle reaction is incompletely understood. May be irreversible, and those with early pulmonary hypertension may need early surgical closure.
the top differential diagnosis of VSD is atrioventricular canal defect, PDA, or DO or V. Best clue for diagnosis is chest ray with cardiomegaly plus a crisp pulmonary flow in small chunk, defect in ventricular septum on any cross section or image modality. Size, defect can be small, moderate, or large, and involve adjacent structure. Depend on location, VSD divided in membranous or perimembranous defect up to 80%, inlet VSD 8 to 10%, outlet VSD occur in 5%, muscular or trapecular VSD occur in 5 to 10%. Small VSD, usually no more chest radiograph, does not exclude small sun. Moderate to light VSD, cardiomegaly with increased size of main pulmonary artery, increased pulmonary artery flow, left arterial enlargement, and usually small aorta. Heart failure may occur with venous edema, hyper. Inflation is seen in large shun due to abnormal lung compliance and possible bronchial compression by dilated pulmonary artery. Supracrystal VSD, left to right shun, is usually small as anterior left leg of the Ottawa prolapse and may partial over defect. May have Evidence of dilated ascending aorta if aortic insufficiency is present, difficult to diagnosis on chest radiograph. This is the AP radiograph in a two months old with the kidney and four feeding secondary to a perimembranous ventricular subtal defect. So, cardiac enlarge, increased pulmonary vascularity and hyperinflation with bulging of the lung between intercostal space. The lateral radiograph in the same patient demonstrate. Again, the cardiomegaly and Christmas power marking and hyperinflation. The hyperinflation is due to bronchial compression and poor lung compliance. This is an AP radiograph, so an elevated effect of the heart. The branch pulmonary artery are enlarged. There is a convex main pulmonary artery segment with pruning of very peripheral vessel in a patient who had and repair large VSD and pulmonary hypertension. In lateral radiograph, in the same patient, demonstrate left. So it is the previous case with the same patient. Yes, the same image. Yes. Lateral radiograph, so displacement of the left main bronchus posteriorly. This is attributed to left arterial enlargement, which is frequently seen in large VSD. AP radiograph so enlarge of the main pulmonary artery.
and increase pulmonary artery flow in small child with very membranous VST. A periodograph of two months also cardiomegaly increased pulmonary vascularity. The patient had multiple muscular type VSD. This PA periodograph of the patient did a ventricular subtle defect, so mark and large of pulmonary trunk and left and right pulmonary artery. This finding are consistent with pulmonary artery hypertension secondary to left to right intracardiaction. A periodograph of the chest demonstrates severe and large of the main And central pulmonary artery most conspicuous on the right. In CT, we usually use cardiac catheter CTA, the line of cardiac anatomy plus minus function and volume with evaluation, 3D image for planning. Backwardness close of the Y, 3D brain model are now occasionally used to test the close of the Y placement before procedure. Axial CTA so map a right atrial large in a young person with VSD. I just told you from a cardiac CTA, so small subaortic VSD, note the second valvular tissue adjacent to VSD as the patient had a rupture sinus of Vasawa. Gated cardiac CTA, so a large intramuscular type VSD. Note that there is adjacent scene of the interventricular septum. And this VSD was the result of myocardial infarction. Axial cardiac CTA in a newborn, so a simple intravascular VSD. Between the right and left were ventricle. Axial made from a cardiac CTA in a Down syndrome patient, so extracardia and a posterior type VSD. Axial CTA, so a muscular VSD. In uh, the apical portion of the ventricle septum, muscular septal defect are often multiple and some close spontaneously. Axial cardiac CTA demonstrate a defect within the high aspect of the interventricular septum, which allow communication between the left and the right ventricle. Axial contrast and CT demonstrate a small line defect within interventricular septum that extend between the left and right ventricle consistent with a small ventricular subtle effect. A coronal contrast enhanced 
CT of the same patient demonstrate a small ventral septal effect. Axial cardiac edit CTA, so communication between the ventricle in the high aspect of interventricular septum consistent with perimembranous type of ventricular septal defect. How am I finding? Usually use fast contrast and sign amount. We can assess ventricular volume, ventricular mass, ventricular function, sun volume and direction, valvular function, pressure, cardiac loss, and cross bar. Or chamber view, SSFP, valve blood sign. Um, um, or demonstrate mem a membrane VSD while solid arrow in case in this adolescent patient. of the PCMR of the aorta is a routine perform to assess systemic flow and compare it to the coronary flow to quantify the degree of shunting. Axial SSFSE T2 beta MR, so a very membranous type VSD. In this fetus with tetralogy of pelot. In echocardiogram. Most VSD identify and characterize echocardiography, a revisualization of the effect. Color flow high useful in detecting small defect, direction, and velocity of sound. So this is the first SRA case of ventricular subtle defect. So be more damage on the left, so a light effect within the membranous portion of the ventricle, the color Doppler imaging on the right, so blood flows through the effect from the right to the left side. So the B mode image on the right, so a small effect is in the membrane portion and the color Doppler image on the left, so blood flows through the defect from right. Right selection.
Ankaografik semua defek nomor lain, FS nomor pemberi basmari sistem, lain defek pemberi flow modern sistem itu pemberi and sistem. Treatment, small effect may cause honestly, moderate and large effect are treated medical, otherwise surgery approach, such a call treatment depends on side of Thank you.